Hello and welcome to the Sponson Streaming Guide Part 3, where we talk about how to get a more professional sounding voice on stream. Now, obviously you could go out and buy a better microphone, and while that help, it's not really the whole story. A bigger impact thing you can do is start doing some audio processing on your voice. In fact, OBS makes that super easy to set up, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. We're going to start with what's called a compressor. And the way it works is by compressing the dynamic range of your voice. And what that means is it takes the loud parts of your voice and it makes those softer so that they match the quiet parts of your voice and your voice has a nice, even, consistent, professional sound to it. To demonstrate the difference, I'm going to show you what happens when I don't have a compressor on my voice uh, by going to a previous stream. Pay attention to how when I'm talking softly, it's hard to hear what I'm saying. And when I get loud, it's about three or four times louder than my soft voice. And it even starts causing some artifacts. Boy, yeah, he's being real slippery right now. Lining up by the boost. Gem. A nice defusal and staying ahead to be able to even get the return. Mark with the rolling bomb. And oh. it's going to be a cap. They're going to tie it up. They've tied it up. Five to one this half. And it's tied at a total of seven. So a very wide range of dynamics involved in that, very, in that clip. Now let's look at a recent shot caller stream where I do have a uh, compressor on and listen to the difference and listen to even if I'm talking normally or shouting into the microphone, I still have a very consistent volume. Got another round of power ups, good chance to do it. Curry and Cynical gonna double team against Proteg to try to get this, but Proteg might have good positioning. No, he's gonna peel off. It's gonna allow him a grab. He's got the flag and it's gonna get closed in on just narrowly by Curry. Trippy's out, he's fast. He's got the juke juice and he's going to cut above. So even at the end there where I was shouting, it was still a very consistent, stable uh, volume. So let me show you how to get that set up. Uh, you need a couple prerequisites and links will be in the description of this video. To get started, you need OBS Studio. And if you have an old version of OBS, uh, it's important to note that this is a new program. It's called OBS Studio. And this is what has support for the VST plugins. So once you get OBS Studio set up, let's download the actual plugins themselves. And their uh, Reaper, they're called Replugs, and it's uh, plugins that are available for free from Reaper. So download and install those right here. Once you've get that set up, open up OBS and we can configure the filter. So click the gear icon by the microphone and then click filters. And I've already got my compressor on. I'm going to take it off and remove it. And my voice is probably going to get a bit quieter as a result. So bear with me here. So this is what it should look like for you when you first open up your filters. Then you can click the plus icon and go to a VST plugin. You can give it a name. I'm going to call mine compressor. And then from the drop down, as long as you've installed the re plugs, you can get recomp and then click open plugin interface. And this is what the actual compressor interface looks like. And don't get overwhelmed. There's only a few changes that we have to make. We're going to start by checking the auto release box. We're going to change the RMS size down to zero. And then the ratio is how much compression we're going to apply. No normally you want between three to five for broadcast audio. I go around 4.5 and that's just how extreme the compression is going to be. Uh, you can put it wherever you would like for your voice. Uh, we're also going to make sure that uh, we set the level at which it engages at. Right now it's far too high. So I'm going to look at these uh, green lines, which are my voice, and see where the average is. And I'm going to bring this down to just below that average uh, so that it applies on uh, the majority of my voice. So once I've done that, uh, I'm going to look over here to the see how much it's being used. And I'm shooting for no higher than about th negative 3 or negative 4. And it looks like I'm about there. I could even probably add a little bit more. So I'm going to just drag it down slightly. And uh, you can fiddle with it uh, with your voice uh, to get it where you want. Final thing we're going to do is click the auto makeup. And that's going to add gain back into my voice, getting it loud and making sure that not only is it consistent, but it's the correct volume as well. And that's all there is to it. Um, if you go into the filters, you can turn it off. And here, this is what the voice sounds like without the compressor. And you can also click it back on again. So um, that's just one of uh, many filters that you can add. But I think it's a pretty high impact one. If you want a more complex setup, uh, there's another link that I have in the description. Uh, is, this is what I use for shot callers. I've got the Reaper uh, program that I use. And I use VB Audio Virtual Cable to route that into Mumble. So uh, if you don't just want to have this on OBS and you want to get it set up so that you can use it in other programs like Mumble, uh, you can follow this guide and it's got even more plugins and configurations and whatnot. Uh, but if you just want to get started uh, with an easy solution, then you can follow this OBS guide. 
Anyways, if you guys have any questions, uh, you can reach out to reddit.com slash r slash tagprostreaming or send me a message. Uh, my username is ronsponsontp.